Imagine a world where energy is limitless, clean and abundant where the power of the sun can be harnessed right here on Earth. This isn't science fiction, it's the promise of nuclear fusion, a breakthrough that could forever change how we power our planet. Fusion could potentially provide more energy than we need, with zero carbon emissions and virtually no long-lived radioactive waste. But achieving sustainable fusion energy has been one of the greatest scientific challenges. Until now, enter the Wendelstein 7X, the world's largest and most advanced stellarator. This device was designed to crack the code of nuclear fusion. Unlike the more commonly known tokamaks, this remarkable piece of engineering follows a radically different approach to confining plasma the scorching hot state of matter needed for fusion reactions. With over 50 superconducting magnets precisely positioned around a twisted chamber, the Wendelstein 7X offers a more stable method of plasma confinement. But how exactly does this extraordinary machine work? What are the challenges that have prevented fusion from becoming a reality so far? And most importantly, could the Wendelstein 7X be the key to unlocking limitless, clean energy? Let's dive into the story of the Wendelstein 7X and explore how this marvel of engineering might just be the solution we've been waiting for. Nuclear fusion has been called the holy grail of energy production for good reason. It's the process that powers the sun and stars, where hydrogen atoms collide and fuse together under immense pressure and heat, releasing vast amounts of energy. If we could replicate this process here on Earth, we'd have access to a nearly unlimited supply of clean energy. But achieving nuclear fusion on Earth is incredibly difficult, and the challenges go beyond just creating high temperatures. The first problem is the fuel the fusion process typically requires isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium. While deuterium can be extracted from seawater in virtually unlimited amounts, tritium is much harder to come by. Tritium is radioactive and extremely rare in nature. It must be produced in specialized reactors, which adds to the complexity of creating a viable fusion energy source. Fusion reactions also require extremely high temperatures. To put it into perspective, the core of the sun reaches temperatures of about 15 million degrees Celsius. But in fusion reactors, we need to heat plasma the fourth state of matter up to 100 million degrees Celsius or more just to initiate the reactions. Achieving these temperatures is a massive technical challenge, but even more problematic is maintaining those temperatures long enough to sustain the fusion process. The second major challenge is plasma confinement. At such high temperatures, plasma becomes an electrically charged soup of particles that's extremely volatile. It can't be contained by any solid material because the walls would vaporize instantly. Instead, scientists use powerful magnetic fields to trap and control the plasma inside a reactor. But keeping the plasma confined long enough for fusion reactions to occur and generating more energy than the reactor consumes has proven to be one of the biggest hurdles. Tokamaks, the most widely researched type of fusion reactor, use a donut-shaped magnetic field to keep the plasma confined. However, they've struggled with maintaining stable plasma over long periods. The magnetic fields in tokamaks often fluctuate, causing the plasma to touch the walls of the reactor, cooling it down and halting the fusion reactions. Even slight disruptions can cause the plasma to destabilize, which is a major roadblock. This is where the Wendelstein 7X and other stellarators come into the picture. Unlike tokamaks, stellarators use a much more complex magnetic field, twisted into intricate shapes to create a more stable plasma confinement. This design could potentially solve one of fusion energy's biggest problems, keeping the plasma stable long enough for meaningful energy production. The Wendelstein 7X isn't just another fusion reactor, it's a stellarator, and that's what sets it apart from the more commonly known tokamaks. Both devices aim to achieve nuclear fusion, but they take very different approaches to plasma confinement, with stellarators designed specifically to overcome many of the weaknesses of tokamaks. Let's first look at the core differences. Tokamaks use a relatively simple donut-shaped magnetic field to confine plasma. This field is created by strong electromagnets and an electrical current that runs through the plasma itself. However, this design comes with inherent stability issues the plasma in a tokamak is prone to disruptions. Even small shifts in the magnetic field can cause the plasma to collide with the reactor walls, which cools the plasma and shuts down the fusion reactions. By contrast, the Wendelstein 7X operates as a stellarator, which uses a much more complex magnetic field. Instead of relying on the symmetrical, donut-shaped field of a tokamak, the Wendelstein 7X's magnetic field is twisted into intricate 3D shapes. Imagine a twisted ribbon of magnetic force wrapping around the plasma. This geometry creates a magnetic cage that can confine the plasma more stably without the need for an electric current in the plasma itself. 
This design is critical because it eliminates many of the disruptions that tokamaks face. Without the need for plasma currents, the Wendelstein 7X avoids the instabilities that cause plasma to escape confinement in tokamaks. This could allow for longer, more sustained fusion reactions a key goal for achieving practical fusion energy. Creating this intricate magnetic field wasn't easy. The Wendelstein 7X is one of the most complex machines ever built. It required solving highly complex mathematical equations to design the field, and the device's superconducting magnetic coils had to be constructed with millimeter precision. The result is a machine that pushes the limits of modern engineering, and its design has been a collaboration involving thousands of scientists and engineers from around the world. In its early experiments, the reactor was able to confine plasma for up to 30 minutes without the kinds of disruptions that typically plague tokamaks. This is a critical breakthrough, because the longer the plasma remains stable, the more likely it is that continuous fusion reactions can occur. Another significant achievement has been the reactor's ability to reach plasma temperatures of up to 100 million degrees Celsius the threshold needed for fusion reactions to take place. These temperatures are crucial because fusion only occurs when atomic nuclei are moving fast enough to overcome their natural repulsion. Finally, one of the key advantages of the Wendelstein 7X is its flexibility. Scientists can tweak its magnetic field configuration to test different plasma conditions and optimize performance. This makes the Wendelstein 7X not just a tool for achieving fusion, but also a research platform for exploring new approaches to plasma confinement. The ability to test multiple configurations is invaluable for fine-tuning the reactor's performance. To understand why the Wendelstein 7X is so significant, we need to dive deeper into why plasma confinement is so important for fusion energy. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It's essentially an electrically charged soup of particles, ions, and electrons. Plasma forms when gas is heated to extremely high temperatures, causing its atoms to break apart into their charged components. For fusion to occur, atomic nuclei must collide at high enough speeds to overcome their natural repulsion. This only happens at extremely high temperatures, typically around 100 million degrees Celsius. The challenge with plasma is that it's incredibly volatile. At these temperatures, it can't come into contact with the walls of the reactor or it will instantly cool down and stop the fusion process. That's why plasma needs to be confined using magnetic fields. However, creating a magnetic field strong and stable enough to confine plasma without letting it touch the walls has been one of the biggest challenges for fusion energy. This is where the Wendelstein 7X's unique magnetic design comes in. By twisting the magnetic field into intricate shapes, the Wendelstein 7X can confine plasma more stably than previous reactors. The result is fewer disruptions and a more stable plasma, which is crucial for maintaining the extreme temperatures needed for fusion reactions. In fusion research, there's a concept known as the triple product temperature, density, and confinement time. To achieve net energy gain from fusion, where the energy produced by fusion exceeds the energy required to sustain it, you need to optimize all three factors. The Wendelstein 7X has made significant strides in increasing plasma confinement time and maintaining stable, high-temperature plasma. The Wendelstein 7X has already made significant strides in advancing our understanding of nuclear fusion since its first operations began in 2015. While it's still in the experimental phase and not yet designed to produce electricity, the progress it has made is helping to unlock the secrets of plasma confinement and stellarator designs, paving the way for future fusion energy solutions. However, one of the unsolved challenges that fusion researchers, including those working on the Wendelstein 7X, faces the issue of fuel. Most experimental fusion reactors, including the Wendelstein 7X, use deuterium as their fuel, which is a stable isotope of hydrogen. However, for a true fusion power plant, the ideal fuel would be a mix of deuterium and tritium. Tritium, though, is exceedingly rare and must be generated inside the reactor itself by using lithium to breed the tritium. This process adds another layer of complexity to fusion reactors because it requires efficient systems to produce and manage tritium within the fusion process itself. While the Wendelstein 7X has made significant progress in confining plasma, it still consumes more energy than it produces. This is typical of all fusion reactors today. The goal for future fusion reactors, including stellarators, is to reach a point where they can produce more energy than they consume, a milestone known as ignition. To reach this stage, the reactor would need tunes that produce more heat than is lost and require less energy to maintain the magnetic fields and plasma confinement. One of the key advantages of the Wendelstein 7X over other fusion designs is its flexibility. Because it is primarily a research tool, scientists can experiment with different magnetic field configurations, 
plasma densities, and heating methods to optimize performance. This flexibility is invaluable in advancing our understanding of plasma physics and how to control it. The Wendelstein 7X allows scientists to test various plasma conditions in ways that aren't possible in other reactors, and these experiments will help inform the designs of future, more efficient fusion reactors. One of the primary goals 7X's future experiments is to achieve steady-state fusion. This means that the reactor would be able to sustain plasma continuously without disruptions, instead of operating in short pulses as many fusion reactors currently do. Achieving steady-state operation would be a critical step towards creating a fusion reactor that can produce electricity continuously, making fusion a viable energy source for the grid. Looking further into the future, the lessons learned from the Wendelstein 7X while applied to new generations of stellarators and other fusion reactors. However, it's important to remember that fusion energy still faces significant challenges plasma confinement, fuel management, and energy efficiency are extremely complex, and despite the advances made by the Wendelstein 7X, there is still a long road ahead before fusion becomes a commercially viable energy source. But with continued research, global collaboration, and advances in technology, fusion energy remains one of the most promising solutions for meeting the world's growing energy demands while addressing climate change. In summary, the Wendelstein 7X represents a groundbreaking leap forward in the quest for nuclear fusion. Its innovative stellarator design has already demonstrated longer plasma confinement times and more stable conditions than previous fusion reactors. While there are still many challenges to overcome, especially in terms of fuel management and energy efficiency, the achievements of the Wendelstein 7X provide critical insights that will shape the future of fusion research and guide the development of next-generation reactors. The potential impact of this technology is nothing short of revolutionary. If you're excited about the future of clean energy and the incredible science behind nuclear fusion, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video and share it with anyone who's curious about the future of energy. Together, we can help spread the word about this game-changing technology.